So you can buy cans that are too small for your retrofits. It's quite possible. And then you're gonna show up and it's gonna turn into a truck roll because they're not gonna fit. Oh guys, we are back on this kitchen finish out and <laughs> we're having so much fun, there are tears in my eyes. But if you missed the rough end, check out this video here. One of the things I'm about to do here is so incredibly mundane, it's ridiculous. I shouldn't even be wasting my time on it. However, there's some dynamics that'll make you a lot of money if you understand them as an electrical contractor. So I wanna take it at a lot deeper than what it is at face value. And in fact, I have made a lot of money off of these four inch LED retrofits. See, six inch cans were the name of the game for so long, but that's the problem. They were the name of the game in the 1980s. And so four inch overtook the market. And if now you're doing a high end remodel, you want the four inch can. It's so much more trendy, unless you need to match the rest of your house and maintain a uniform aesthetic then you can upgrade that aesthetic with an LED retrofit. Not only will you be using one-tenth the amount of electricity at 25 times the expected lifespan, but you've got some other dynamics to pay attention to here. One is the choice of color temperature. My personal fave, 3000 Kelvin. And that's listed on any bulb retrofit LED product, and that's color temperature. That's gonna be the, the warmth or the brilliance of the light in the space. 3000 wins consumers' hearts all the time. But again, you've gotta match the aesthetic that's in the home. So if the dining room is operating at 4000 and the living room is operating at 2700 and you put 3000 in the kitchen, the customer's gonna be like, this doesn't look like my other spaces. So either you're gonna be swapping out retrofits or you're gonna be upcharging to fix the other spaces and get them to match. But regardless, it's a conversation you've got to bridge on the rough end so you get it a uniform expectation on the finish out. CRI, color rendering index, that's how true and how vibrant the colors will appear in the space. A CRI of less than 80 in an interior high-end remodel would be ridiculous. See, CRI is on a zero to 100 scale. 80, 90, and 100 are considered excellent. This is a 90 CRI product. 100 is rare and you'll pay for it. But anything less than 80, you're going to actually get some deviation. The customer's going to be like, I don't like the way these cabinets look. The countertops are not as expected. Guess what? It's the lighting product that's throwing it off. It's a poor CRI. Here's another thing to look for. If you're applying for utility rebates, that little energy star right there, that is what's required typically for the utility rebates to give you the cash. You've got to use an Energy Star listed product. A couple more things that are going to be really significant to you is one, this is suitable for wet locations, which means you can put it over your hot tubs, over your showers. The product is compatible with that level of moisture and humidity. Two, dimmable. It's going to be listed right on the product and if it doesn't say dimmable in an easily accessible location, then it's not because dimming is a big issue for LED products. And in fact, to get good dimming, you've got to reference the manufacturer's dimming compatibility charts that are listed on their website. So the dimmer switch needs to be listed as compatible with this specific product. And there's a chart that's dozens and dozens of pages long that you need to reference in order to confirm that. If it's not compatible, what you're gonna get is a flicker on the LED product, particularly probably at lower light levels, but it could be all over the place where you try to bring it down and that product just starts to flick and bounce on you. Customer's not gonna be happy. Another one, lumen output, right? How much light volume, not color rendering index, not color temperature, how much light volume and am, am I gonna obtain from this space? Well, guess what? We have a space with good natural daylight but it will get dark and you cannot depend on that. A kitchen's gonna be used around the clock. You're gonna be out here getting midnight snacks. You're gonna be having Christmas parties. It's gonna be pitch black outside. You can't depend on the natural daylight. You need to have a fully illuminated space that's extremely comfortable with the artificial light alone. So lumen output is key. This is a 650 lumen product. That's fantastic for a four inch LED retrofit. In fact, you can go as low as probably 400 or 300 lumen output. Well, that's half of what we've got here. And the last thing a homeowner wants in their brand new kitchen is for it to be dim and dingy. So give them as much light 
as they'll buy and put it on a dimmer switch so they have the ability to bring it down and hit that comfortable level. That's the best way to ensure you're ending up with maximum profits and maximum customer satisfaction. So the reality is, is there a scientific calculation for how to determine lighting in a space? Yes, 100%. I don't use that though. I've got so much experience doing this that it's entirely by feel. I know what works because we've done it over and over and over again. And when you develop the ability, not just to be a technician of the craft, but to be a communicator of the science to the homeowner, where you become not just the electrician, but the trusted advisor. When they say, with a hint of nervousness, how much light do I need in my new kitchen? And you can tell them with authority and you can break down CRI, dimming, location specific qualifications, lumen output, and give them a sense of confidence that one, you know what they're you're talking about, and two, they're gonna be satisfied with the outcome, then they're ready to buy. So this process is really straightforward. Uh, I suggest that you turn the power off. If you used a temporary bulb for construction power that's incandescent, you'd be burning your fingers right now. So we've got a bunch of old LEDs. That thing's just gonna roll on to the next project. It's covered with paint, drywall mud. There's this little adapter, it's plug and play. It's polarized so it'll only fit one way. Can't get it wrong. We'll put it in the four inch can housing. Now you do have a variety of products out there and they're not all guaranteed to be compatible. So you can buy cans that are too small for your retrofits. It's quite possible. And then you're gonna show up and it's gonna turn into a truck roll because they're not gonna fit. These four inch retrofits have spring clips. So all you do is tuck that up there safely out of the way, get the spring clips to line up. Don't get any fingerprints on the nice clean white ceiling, at least not on my job, and then press gently till you get a good fit. If you have a textured ceiling, that texture is gonna fight you. If you don't, it should snap right in there if your can was set to approximately the right height. If you're having trouble and it doesn't quite want to snug up, what I do is I put pressure on the can and then give it a little pound and that vibration is going to be just what you need. And then don't touch it, walk away from it. So police officers will tell you that the best defense against crime are lights and dogs. So we love our outdoor security lights, but back, back to the mission at hand here. What do we charge for a new work can like this when the ceiling's stripped? and we've got LED product going in. We're about 100 bucks a pop. If the ceiling's up and we've got to fish and drill and be surgical and take responsibility for drywall or plaster repairs and drop cloth off furniture, control the space, uh, mitigate the dust, now we're up 200 to $250 a pop and possibly even more depending on how many holes we're gonna have to cut, how far we're fishing, and what complexities there are, such as coffered ceilings, wallpaper, um, vintage items that require additional care. So there are electricians out there that don't give their customers options. I'm here to say beauty matters, right? People are putting $100,000 in their kitchen, they want options. If you're building track homes, maybe that's something else. But if you understand the specs and how to communicate them, you're able to sell and upsell more and more and those customers come to you as the trusted advisor that's the key phrase trusted advisor and so if you're trying to make it as quick as possible you're leaving money on the table if you're trying to be as simple as possible the customer's not getting the full effect they're not getting the full glam boom lighting is complete click on the next video where we trim out the gfcis in this kitchen and subscribe to electric pro academy for real skills to make real money